In this video, I will tell you more than 10 tricks and tips that can add realism in your renders. Let's start with the first one, which is to follow references. Let's say you are making a scene in which an ax is placed on top of a tree branch and it is in forest. What most of Blender users would do is that add a grass texture and render it out. This is where you make the mistake. A forest has a lot of vegetation. So to fix it, just search for the reference on the internet and try to use that. And if you are thinking where I got these foliage assets, these are from GeoScatter and are completely free. Materials can change how your scene looks, so use image textures which are realistic because they are captured in real life by professionals. Now I have made videos on how to use materials correctly in Blender, so you can watch it after this video. Polyhaven and Ambient CG are the best free material libraries online. But if you want something directly into Blender, use Blender Kit add-on. I have also made a video on it. Now let me tell you a bonus tip. You can create realistic renders with a sharp area light. You can drag it from my free asset pack to save time, or you can just add the default area light and play with its settings and change it to like this. Now I know using these tricks in your scene might be hard, and I can't explain basics of Blender in a video, but today's sponsor Skillshare can solve your problem. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, 3D, and more. Skillshare can help you take your career, skills, hobbies, passions, or side hustles to the next level. It also have achievements on learning, which helps out a lot. Even the biggest creator in 3D has five original classes on Skillshare with more than 15,000 students. And it is a great way to learn something. Skillshare also has a learning path option in which there are hand-picked best outlines that can help you out to learn something easily without finding anything out. Even I am learning Unreal Engine 5 from Skillshare. And the best part is that Skillshare has hooked me up with a great deal. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So don't miss the chance and join Skillshare today. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. One major thing that can truly improve your renders is imperfections. These are textures like this, which can be plugged into the roughness of any material to give it dirt or fingerprint marks, which look so realistic. Only use Blender Default Sky for lighting, use images like these and scale it up in the background, and use a emission node. And if you are doing an animation, you can use my free environment pack which contains clouds and sky presets. A bonus tip, change this value to 1, trust me it will give you crisp renders. Use fog or haze to add depth in your scene, just drag it from my free asset pack, or add a big cube and use volume scatter node, change the density to something low and anisotropy to 0.7. A lot of renders have this type of glow. You can get it in Blender by adding a glare node in the compositor and change it to fog glow. I also provide a lens node group that does all of this. It is free in my starter pack. If you are doing animations, don't use static camera. You can add a rotation keyframe and go into the graph editor and add a noise modifier. Change the settings and you get something like this handheld effect. Don't completely denoise your renders, leave a little bit of noise. And if you are using compositor denoising, you can mix it up like this and play with the value that leaves a little bit of noise. Or you can do that in the post. If you are using camera from my starter pack, the depth of field settings will be there by default. But if you are using Blender's default camera, change the depth of field ratio to two and blades to eight. Subscribe to support the channel and follow me on Instagram. Get Skillshare free membership by using the link in the description. And if you wanna know more Blender tricks, watch this video.